Hi everyone, this is another exam question. Uh, the two kilogram collar, this is it, uh, is given a downward velocity of four meter per second. When it is at A, the linear spring has an unstretched length of one meter, so the linear of that one would be only one meter. And the spring stiffness is 30 newton per meter. Now we want to find that the velocity of the collar at one meter, when it just comes down to one meter, we want to find out how fast the collar is going. This is again sort of a question with conservation of energy. I assume that T1 plus V1, kinetic and potential at stage 1, has to be equal to T2 plus V2. At initial stage, we have half mv squared plus the kinetic of a spring, always remember, kinetic energy of a spring is half ks2 because the spring has got energy. So the calcul to calculate the kinetic of energy of the spring, we need that formula. So I will stop this here. Okay. And the S is just the displacement or how, how far does it stretch? You can use S or in a, um, if I'm not going to make any mistake with the position, I will here, I will use the deflection. So I would say um, K deflection at one squared is equal to half MV. This is M1. This is M2, oops, M2, V2 plus half K deflection at 0.2 squared. We need to consider the forces of the mass as well because the mass here comes down from there to here. We need to consider that as well, which is Mg and the displacement and it is minus um, so what i need to find i need to find that this v square uh, v at the secondary stage actually uh, i would just write it v squared anyway so i made a mistake as here I, this is m1 because there is only one mass actually so if I rearrange the whole formula to get, to get this V2 squared by itself, I would get, and what I do is that I just divide everything by M. So, because there is only one mass, so to just get rid of mass, I would say V1 squared plus um, K over M, the deflection uh, plus 2g s2 uh, minus v2 ah uh, no that I just got that one minus k over m deflection to 2 and what I did was that I just even times them by two, so I just get rid of the all the twos as well. To get v two by itself, I need to square root of the whole thing, so I would square root of that, and I just get rid of that one as well. So for v squared, I will get I got the initial velocity, which is four squared plus k is 30 and m the mass is uh, what I forgot, 2 the deflection is 1 plus 2 
B is 9.81. Um, that again, the deflection is 1. Um, minus 30 over 2. But the deflection here is a bit different. Uh, that is the spring deflection. We want to find out this whole value, uh, which is by Pythagoras, it is 2 squared plus 1 squared. Uh, if we want to find out, like for example, this distance. And um, so this is 4 plus 1, it is 5. But actually, the thing is that because uh, on a stretch, amount of the spring is just one meter, so that is the stretch. So I need two minus one as well. So I would say 30 over 2, 4 plus 1, minus 1, and the whole thing is just square. So I would get the value for V2 is equal to 5.26 meter per second.